Governor Ron DeSantis says after health care workers and others at ri increased risk are vaccinated, vaccines should be available to the general public as soon as February. But some people say they are hesitant to get the shot, especially those in the black community. News 6's Jerry Askin continues our team coverage tonight. He is live in Orange County with a closer look at their concerns and what is being done to build confidence there. Jerry. Ginger, yes, and today recent studies we found show that many black people aren't rushing to get the COVID-19 vaccine. Uh, meantime, we spoke today with a doctor here at Orange Blossom Family Health and Pretty much he's saying that many of his black patients feel the same way, citing things like, you know, dis mistrust on history and lack of access to medical care. Meantime, many black leaders today I spoke with agree. Right now, as we're waiting for the vaccine to be available more for everyday people, would you take the vaccine? Well, no, right now I would not take the vaccine, no. Pastor Stovalio Stovall here at God is Able Outreach Church in Orlando, who is still safely having in-person services, told me he's encouraging his members here to be careful if they take the vaccine. But for now, his main message for them. If you've been fine and everything to monitor it and, and to just wait and, and wait before you take the vaccine. He said he knows many blacks think twice when it comes to getting vaccines in part because of past history, for example, like the Tuskegee experiment where several black men weren't given the proper medication to treat syphilis. This also coming as a study last month found that only 42% of blacks surveyed said they plan to be vaccinated. Roderick Zach is the pastor at Rejoice in the Lord Ministries in Apopka. Me and mine, we're going to have the vaccine when it becomes available. Meantime, Dr. Frank Kerr Cadet here at Orange Blossom Family Health said many of his black patients don't want the vaccine. The medical history of this country, they have disparities. They are looking at that and they're like, no. No, thank you. And it's why he's been working to build vaccine trust in the black community. The question is, uh, would you rather have COVID, which can lead to hospitalization complication, or uh, would you rather have a vaccine that can prevent you from having the COVID? And as a doctor, Dr. Cadet today told me that he's actually getting the vaccine this upcoming Monday because he's read the data and he wants to get the vaccine. He also mentioned the side effects of the vaccine being things like, you know, headaches, fatigue and body aches. Now, coming up here for News 6 at 530, I spoke in the past few hours or so with a UCF professor who has expertise on leadership, policy and race. He's sharing his version of all of this in the next hour. We're live in Orange County. I'm Jerry Askin getting results. New six.